Good evening guys, this is your Sir DRV again and welcome back to our Mythic Heroes channel. Alright, so for today's video, we will going to talk about the Trials of Ascension. Alright, so yeah, you heard it right, Trials of Ascension, because there is actually a new influx of uh, new players in the game, into the game, and I'm receiving um, a lot of questions regarding uh, Trials and, and uh, trials of ascension and what hero to be used on the trial of ascension okay so before we move on to that uh, topic let me just um, refresh you guys with my previous video i made a video on um, what is the best um, pick or lineup that you can select for new players okay so i talk about one hero per faction and then one hero for um damager physical damager magic damager support and tank so you can select through that make sure to um prioritize those um units okay so so now um some of the new players is actually asking what they can use on the trials of ascension so it's actually pretty simple um the reason why i told you to use or pick or select one magic damager is for you to have more damage on this trials of ascension because if you're not a whale you won't be able to build um the best magic damage or team for the trials of ascension early game so there's no point on using the best team for the trials of ascension okay but uh if you're curious on which is which are the uh, the best teams that you can use in the trials of ascension in the future then yeah i can give you some tips for that but you need to keep in mind that um Whatever you select in your first five main lineup, make sure you have one magic damager, one physical damager, uh, one support, one tank, and uh, it's up to you if you want to gain more gold, then add one, one more physical damager. And if you want to get more purple, then add one magic damager. In my case, uh, just a tip, because purples is uh, the most scarcest resource into the game that's the reason why i selected two magic damager for me it's izanami and gm all right so i'm more focusing on getting more um purples in the early game uh purples is uh, what you use for um upgrading or breaking the level limit okay so yeah that's what you need to think about and make sure you have a uh, one aoe damager as well for the this one aggressor well because you will be fighting minions okay or summons all right so now we will move on to end game or best lineup for trials of ascension for end game okay all right so for a freak then all right so this afrit then uh sometimes uh utilizes magic to incapacitate or make one of your unit uh stops it's like sleep or frozen so what you need to do here is um you need a nuwa in your team so why nuwa because nuwa have um immune control whenever she uses to uh she uses her ultimate so your team will be immune to control all right another um best unit that you can use that will increase your magic damage to these boss is all right so it's idun okay uh, we all know that idun gives us more energy so we can use our ultimate more so we need uh, to remove that susano because that's a physical damager all right now let's move on to your main magic damager 
Okay, so the boss um, destroyer or boss killer is uh, one of my favorite is Zeus. Uh, because as we all know, Zeus have that passive that uh, uh, damage the, uh, the enemy um, in relation to uh, his current health. So the more damage or the less health that you have or the more health that the boss have, the more damage Zeus will do. And also, um, you can select magic damager like Tamamo just to get the three uh, majority uh, factional aura for Virgin. And um, well, if you are using Tamamo, then that's great. If you're using GM, that's also good. All right, for this um, specific boss, the genie um izanami is not that good the best uh, hero here is actually zeus tamamo and you can select gm as an additional magic dealer or you can select this uh, icon and you can also use this one Where is she? <laughs> okay, he's actually not showing. So it's Cleopatra, okay? So you can use Cleopatra. All right, so, but uh, if you're a whale, then you, you have the capability to use uh, this one, Lilith. So she is also good as a, a damage dealer. Or if you want to bank on Zeus and only Tamamo, then you can uh, get another um, booster for your damage. This one, uh, Typhon. So yeah, this is one of those uh, lineups that you can use for this genie, okay? Uh, but if you want to, let's say, um, sacrifice the CC and get more damage, then you can remove Nua. And then you can add more magic damager, okay? You can add um, Cleopatra. You can add... Where is my magic damager? Uh, this one. Uh, GM again. And that's it. Because uh, Flora is not that good in terms of boss fights. And also, same goes with Persephone, okay? All right, so yeah, that's it for Genie. Then let's move on to Yggdrasil Well. Okay, so my game is lagging. I'm not sure why. Give me one moment. Okay, now let's move on to Yggdrasil Well. So we don't have a button here for, for us to show the uh, AoE damage dealer. But um, if you have played the game for at least uh, a week now, you will know who is uh, doing AoE damage. Okay, so I will remove this. All right. Okay, now, so who are the best uh, ma uh, magic, uh, not magic, uh, AoE damage dealer in the game? Number one is Izanami. Number two is Lilith. Lilith is actually, uh, in terms of pure uh, damage nuke, Lilith is much better than Izanami because of her uh, one shot, one kill um, in demon form. So make sure you utilize her demon form if you are going to uh, fight this um, tree. Okay, an another uh, AoE damage dealer is Zeus again, okay? So in terms of uh, damage dealer, um, uh, damage over time, DOT, Zeus will be better compared to everyone, okay? That is because if you can see uh, Zeus ultimate, it increases overall damage by 100% to summons and minions. So that's the reason why Zeus is better on this specific fight uh, compared to everyone. That is because you are fighting minions here, okay? Aside from the boss. All right. So now, um, aside from these three 
what other heroes you need. Uh, what you need is another Idun. That is because you need her uh, energy. So more energy, more ultimate for Zeus, Lilith, and uh, Izanami. And then the last slot, you can use, utilize Numa for control because those minions also do some stuns or you can sacrifice that and go for um, Typhon or you can use uh, Flora okay now Flora is actually good here because uh, Flora have um, a skill or passive that bounces off uh, units so aside from her ultimate AOE ultimate she also have an AOE passive and skills okay so what else um, GM is also uh, an AOE damage dealer but um, his damage or his ultimate is more on um, a nuke not a uh, damage over time so GM is not that good here you can actually just do maximum of two ultimate for GM so it's not that good here for Mimir or this tree boss all right so yep that's it that this is the end game um units or lineup for the trials of ascension next we will move on to the rod the bolt unfortunately we don't have the rod the bolt right now so let me just go with the heroes teams and um i'll create a team here okay now the rod the bolt is weak against physical damage so the best physical damager here um, if, you, if you click this and click this it will show you this three physical damager okay so this tree alone can give you massive damage to um, the rod the bolt or you can replace this one to Oberon if you like if you're not using Ob uh, Lubu but if you're using Lubu then yeah just go with Lubu and then aside from that you need another support again so you need a dune and you need Numa because the Radobolt have an AOE uh, stun okay so you need to utilize um, Nua for that immune to crowd control whenever she uses ultimate but if you want to go with pure damage then replace Nua and go with Typhon again okay or um, you can go with the new hero um, where is the new hero give me one moment Okay, I don't have the new hero here, Archimedes, but you can go with Archimedes, okay? So you can remove one of these heroes here. You can go with either Dionysus for more um, minus defense, or you can go with Archimedes, okay? So this is the uh, end game example of what you can use for the Dorado Bolt. I suggest for early game, you can use um, Dionysus if you have him, even at one star. He can help you just make sure to unlock her uh, his weapon to at least 200. So what it does is uh, it decreases enemy's defense by 40%. Okay. So, yep, that's it. That's the lineup that you can use for the trials of ascension and you can only build this if you're um let's say in the, in the end game um in the early game you won't have any choice aside from your main five so that's the reason why i am asking you if you're a new player just pick one hero perfection and then incorporated them with magic damage or physical damage make sure you have at least one physical damager and one magic damager in your team 
so and and also one aoe damager okay all right so yeah that's the tip that i can give you for today and uh, shout out to those uh, new players who, who is uh, dming me and uh, posting on youtube so here's your request and uh, thank you very much guys for your support and uh, watching my videos if you're new to my channel please hit that like button and subscribe and uh, also i am actually giving a permanent subscription so if you're if 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 you are new to my channel you can uh, click the link on the description below uh, in order to qualify you just need to type in your uh, ign and server number on that video okay all right so that's it guys thank you very much and um, i'll see you soon goodbye for now see you on my next video